the diff might be okay drive shaft is fine we're gonna tear it apart see what damage we did definitely probably made somewhere a ballpark of crazy 1100 horsepower we made so much power it dead dead f hook dead hook yep that's that's done ultimate house right here this is crazy broken again quite a man cave you got there thank you man <laughs> serious serious man cave so much room for activities what's going on puppy dog you think it's you think it is rubber's all wadded up oh mother f that's expensive the rear end well that's a good and a bad thing i have a spare it's all wadded up here let me come over here I'm glad we didn't make a mess on the track, you know? Yeah, it twisted this shit. There you go. Okay, guys. So, on a 3K trans brake, broke a 2,000 horsepower rated axle. That's what we're thinking so far. The diff might be okay. Drive shaft is fine. Also DSS. But that axle we made so much power, it dead, dead f hooked. Dead hook. Look at this thing. Mm -mm, looks good. Some turbo action there. So unfortunately, it's broken again. Hey, this is like 50, babe. Is it really? In this bay, it goes 850s. We need to go 850s, 100%. Stock bottom, full pump gears. Yeah, we got head studs. Who cares? That's not going to help for power. Yeah, it happens. It's racing. Build it, race it, break, and repeat. That's the name of the game. tear it apart see what damage we did we think we know a reason why definitely probably made somewhere to ballpark of crazy 1100 horsepower uh pretty intense this car has been if you guys don't know wrecked three times all yeah all not at fault wifey almost got killed by a semi truck in this car that entire side over here has been replaced a couple of times fender twice door twice that quarter panel back here has been chopped off replaced for all of the og subscribers you remember this car has a crazy crazy life story so far we don't think it's a diff we shall see keep watching we don't know yet we got to take the car apart you said this one had like 40 40 000 miles something like that 43 43 original miles 43,000. that's crazy I love the way they sound. The centrifugal blowers. I love it. Boosted, 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 boosted. What's funny? Yeah. Twins, single, pro charge. Yep. Nitrous. Yep. 
Twins. Twins. <laughs> How much horsepower are we gonna sit inside of the garage? Chasing an eight second pass. Yeah. So it's messed up here and here? No. Yeah, that side, yeah. So. Oh yeah, look at that flimsy thing. Yep, that's that's done. All right, let's put them in the car, pick it up, and we'll talk more about what all this is, what happened, why do we think this happened, but that's done. No repairing that. We are back. We have the Mustang back home. This is days later after what you just saw, but we have to clear the air because I can already see it in the comments. But Xander, you had 2,000, you had DSS 2,000 horsepower rated axles. Yes, I did, but it's not their fault. Let me explain. There's the axles there. We're gonna rip this wheel off, show you why, why. Here's the DSS 2000 horsepower rated. Most of the time, your driver's side will break before the other. This is exactly what happened with mine. Now, also most times it will break in this vicinity here on this axle. It is completely solid, rotates like it's supposed to. We're good to go. The issue is towards the wheel, the hub there, this is what broke. Look at this. That is completely broken. Can't cut the boot because that not allow us to exercise our warranty, but that is what she looks like. So completely snapped in there. So, oh yeah, look right there. So the ridges are really kind of like uh, flattened out. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. That's nasty. So, um, this is a warranty item. These are level six axles. And before you guys tear up DSS in the comments, know this. Please listen to me very carefully. This is not a sponsored video by DSS. I do not have DSS as a sponsor. I can say whatever I want to about them. But I want to honestly say that I think that this is not a DSS problem. This is a bushing problem. Something that we have not done yet. And remember, Personal best, last video, if you have not seen that, you gotta click up above, go check it out. Definitely worth your time, we ran our best ever. 9.5 with a soft, soft 1.78, I think it was 60 foot. It was a foot break, it was a soft launch, it was like a 1.78, 60 foot. But we went 9.5 at 154, almost 155 mile an hour, and I let out early. And that was about 17 pounds of boost. Now, 17 pounds of boost, out of this car with these twin turbos, everybody that has reached out to me said, bro, you know that you were making probably in excess of 1100 horsepower. And that makes sense with turbo. If it was a supercharger, it'd be about a thousand, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe. Uh, we have a slew of BMR parts. And the problem is that we have um, stiffened up the car a little bit too much and neglected a couple of things. That's not a fault of BMR, that's a fault of my myself. So um, we're gonna rip this wheel off. I gotta get this stock axle out. I will tell you this about the SS. I called them, I told them what happened. We've had these for under a year. We have a lot of passes on them. I talked to my rep at BMR and he said, yeah, this is the problem. Them. We're gonna send you some stuff. We're gonna fix it and we're gonna make you go fast But DSS reached out to them easy to deal with we already have an RMA number This is a warranted item and uh, You will be able to fix it very soon, but thankfully Hellhorse performance had a spare Axle 2,000 horsepower axle, so it'll be here today huge. Thank you to Hellhorse performance making us go fast and also Doing us favors by letting us borrow an axle so that we can race this weekend really appreciate it guys Links down below in the description discount codes to all of these companies that support everything that we do But I want to be able to save you money you the viewer and uh, Help you go fast like we try to do on this channel. So I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate all the sponsors Let's get rocking and rolling get this off install the new axle, figure out the two-step, and go from there. All right, 50, almost 155 mile an hour. It would have been if we didn't let off early. Yeah, all day long, man, that's, a, that's an eight second pass with a good 60 foot. Definitely wanna give a huge thanks to uh, Shannon. He does not want his business publicized. Basically, hey man, I'm gonna help you out. We're gonna tell your vehicle. Big shout out to him, man. Um, thank you so much, God bless you. And Twisted Things, man, um, giving me a ride. Everybody that stuck around, because everybody else was pretty much gone. It was late in the night, but the ones that stuck around to help me out when we broke the axle man huge shout out to all of you guys you guys are awesome you know this is why we continue to make content and do stuff like this is because of the community it's just i love it if we had had a one two one three sixty foot out of this car running that mile an hour we would have seen an eight eight pass 100 percent yeah it seems like the diff 
and the gears and everything is fine, which is <laughs> totally a good thing. Uh, I was really, really scared. Was it a drive shaft? Was it transmission? Was it this? Was it that? And uh, pleasantly surprised how good it felt on the way home uh, from Bowling Green, driving about an hour. If you're new to the channel, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, turn post notifications on. We are going racing this weekend, uh, tomorrow, and we're gonna try to get a personal best, 60 foot this car like it's supposed to be, uh, and try to chase that high eight pass. Oh man, ooh buddy, oh my goodness. The reason it broke up here, you're gonna learn in about two seconds once you get this wheel off. All right, check it out, BMR parts. We got the vertical links, we have drag springs, we have the CB762 kit there, and then also the long arm there to help tie everything together. We have adjustable tow rods. I know a lot of people ask me all the time, what suspension am I running? And this is pretty much it. Now, what I think the problem is that this bushing up here, um, I think it's just worn out, man. There's 26,000 miles on a car and a lot of racing, a lot of passes, especially when you add power, it starts overwhelming the stock rubber bushings. Now, what we're gonna do is replace this soft rubber bushing with something from BMR that's going to allow it not to move. We're also gonna shove some other parts up here like uh, this control arm right here is probably gonna get replaced. Um, and then with a camber lockout kit on top. If you look at the footage very closely and you slow it down, you see the wheel start to move forward and then also in towards, the front goes in towards the body of the car. So it goes out of camber and then it goes in. And I think that's just bushing deflection, you know, making a thousand plus horsepower, everything at that point pretty much needs to be upgraded. So it's serious business from this point on. We think that, yeah, again, we think it went out of camber and the angle changed and it snapped. So there was no wheel hop. As soon as I let go of the trans brake, it just broke. And that's why it broke where it did instead of back there. Really easy. There she comes. So there's the stock axle. And behind us, we have our new one. 2,000 horsepowers. And then it pops and it clips in. Okay. Only takes about an hour, honestly. It's not that bad. Talking about bushing deflection, I just want to kind of show you. So, I mean, look at this. I'm barely putting any pressure, but you can see the bushing deflection. And this one back here just kind of moves all around. But uh, that's kind of just to highlight what's going on. So we're going to replace all of this stuff with actual like bearings and get rid of these soft rubber bushings because the, the wheel moves forward and in and we gotta get rid of that. Alrighty guys, we're at the end of the video. Finally, thank you for sticking around. A huge thank you to Hellhorse Performance for sending out that axle. We're going to try to not break it, but honestly, things do happen when you're trying to go fast. We are chasing eights, guys, at around 1,000 to 1,100 horsepower, somewhere in that ballpark. We have to continue to upgrade things as we go forward. That is kind of the name of the game. You gotta pay to play, right? Look forward to more racing content coming up this weekend. Hopefully I'll see all of you guys out there at NMRA and hopefully we'll be able to get that eight second pass. Enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see all of you guys later. Be safe, have fun, have a great day, bye.